Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Sidekick and on today's episode I've been hiding a small problem with my pan that has now turned into a massive problem. Cue the intro. Okay, so you join me here in my garage. I have the pan here. Ready to go, or so I thought. Um, as you've seen in the previous videos, we've been getting Alan's bike finished off, serviced, and the electrical bits and bobs, and my bike, although I've done a lot to it, it's been ready to go, or pretty much. So what I've been doing is, a, obviously I did all the work to it, I've taken it out for a few test rides, and I've had this little problem with it. The front end, since I've, changed the fork seals has been ridiculously hard and almost like to the point where it's dangerous to ride you go over a bump and it's there's no suspension and it just wants to sit you back up all the time if you go around a corner and you hit any slight bumps it just wants to sit the bike back up so over a long distance it's just not safe but i've put it down to the fact that maybe i've put a bit too much fork oil in some i thought it's going to be something silly so yesterday because I've put it off as a last job, and we are now literally a couple of days from going away. I've got stuff out there ready to pack in the bike, and I thought this was just gonna be a quick, easy fix. So yesterday I took took all the covers off the top here, dropped the front wheel out, and drained the fork coil out. Easy enough, not a problem. Undid the bolts on the top of the stanchions here behind this cowl, dropped all the oil out, measured it all out. I thought I'd got the wrong model, so I put a bit less in, put it all back together. And then as I was putting it back together, one of the bolts in the top of the stanchion here, which you can't see because the covers are on, but I've had, you have to lean down and twist it up as you're doing it up. And what happened as I was starting to do the bolt up, it cross-threaded a bit. So at that point I thought, I'm committed now. Perhaps shouldn't have done it. I thought, I'm sure it's going to be fine and carried on doing it up because there was no way I was going to rethread it. Um, I've then taken, put the bike back together, taken it out for a test ride and nothing's changed. It's still dangerous to ride. It's okay just pottering about doing the little things that we've done on it. Over the mileage that we're going to do, this would be a death trap, I think. Um, so, with that in mind, the forks need stripping back down. There's a bolt that next time I take it out is not going to go back in. Uh, and we are a couple of days from going. Uh, so, yeah, big trouble really. Um, obviously my first port of call was to go on eBay, go on the Facebook group, see if anybody's breaking one. Obviously if I order something on eBay, it's not going to turn up in time. I've literally, I need to sort this out you know, now, I need to sort it out. Um, trying to find anything, like I say, on eBay, even to go and collect it, anything that's advertised on eBay for these all needs refurbishing. So I've been through Facebook Marketplace. Fortunately, I've found somebody who says that they have got a set that's been refurbished. Hopefully, I really hope they have. But the only thing is, it's going to be nearly a 400 mile round trip. So today I've had to get up early for work. I've been and done a long journey today. I'm absolutely knackered today. I'm really tired. I've also done a 400 mile round trip today driving. I've managed to source these forks today and then found out tomorrow I've got to go and do another 400 mile round trip. So, but I've got to do it. The bike's still not packed i've got camping kit out here there's stuff in the cupboards i've still got my stickers to put on and now i've got to take the forks back out and try and get new forks fitted in time for going away um so i've got to do what i've got to do and to make it happen i've got to be up early tomorrow morning i've got to drive down to the south coast Bearing in mind we're in the Midlands, North Northamptonshire on the border with Le Leicestershire. I've got to drive down 
all the way down past London, past Felixstowe, right onto the south coast to go and pick these forks up and then drive home and try and get them fitted and get the bike packed up and get everything finished. Just not what I wanted. This was supposed to have been done, packed up, ready to go. So thought I'd take you guys along for a bit just to so you can see what's going on. We'll try and get it packed up, we'll try and get things sorted and fingers crossed I can get this done because the other thing is I've not got a backup bike now. The I could try and maybe do it on the Vesper if all else fails but let's be honest I'm not going to keep up with everybody. The um, Franken bike is not officially on the road although it's MOT'd and stuff it's not here. It's in storage at the minute because I had too much stuff going on and yesterday I sold the other Aprilia, the only other working bike that I've got has now gone to a new home. So I've not really got any other options but to get this bike fixed. So I suppose we better get on with it. Let's go. Okay, so this is the next morning for me. <clears throat> it's now seven o'clock in the morning. I'm about to set off to go and do this journey to go and pick up the forks. Um, I'm still a bit worried I'm not gonna get all this done in time. Uh, spoke with Helmet Head last night. He was his usual idiotic self. Wasn't really bothered to start with, just said he'd go without me, but then started crying because he thought he might have to make his own breakfast and who's gonna put my tent up for me? Who's gonna follow me and who's gonna... And then, so yeah, I ended up putting the phone down on him. Um, so. Let's hit the road, let's get these miles done, let's see if I can go and get these forks picked up and fingers crossed they're what the guy says they are and they are actually <laughs> worth the drive because if they're not, I'm screwed. Right, let's get on with it. So I've made it here to uh, a little place called New Romney. Out there, somewhere, is the sea. I'm parked up on the, on a, in a car park next to the beach but I've just been to see a lovely old guy called Don who sold me, drum roll, the new fork. So he's doing a sidecar project, exactly as he said. I've, he's resealed these. I think I'm gonna have to check the oil in them. Um, but yeah, we're, we're good to go. Fingers crossed, they look good. Uh, they're gonna work, Fing uh, well, they've got to work now. So now I've got a big drive back home. It's now saying three hours and 15 minutes to drive home, plus a McDonald's stop, obviously. Um, but the next you'll see, I'll be back home in the garage, starting to fit these. And like that, I'm back home. So it's now 10 past three. I set off at seven o'clock this morning. I stopped for my McDonald's on the way back. It was really nice. I had the spicy chicken burger. That was really nice if you fancy we're trying it. Um, and I've been back. I've had a quick cup of tea, sat down for 10 minutes, been and changed my clothes, got my scruffy clothes on, and now I'm out in the garage, ready to make a start. So I've got the forks here that I picked up from Don. They look actually quite good, to be fair. I've just been looking over them. The All the chrome's nice. There's no wear marks. Um, there's a little bit, obviously, a bit of wear marks with paint on, on the actual forks themselves, but they are in a lot better condition than mine, to be fair. And, yeah, they work. I think, I think we could be onto a winner here. So... He did say he wasn't sure if he'd put fork oil in there. There is definitely fork oil in there, but I think what I'm going to do is just drop that out. I did pick some up on the way home, so I'm going to drop that fork oil out, put some measures some more out, and put the fork oil in. Um, so when I was driving back, I was thinking what the problem is with mine. And I think when I've rebuilt them, when I noticed when I was looking again for rebuild kits, and it was going through my mind about trying to strip these down and re repair them, um, and when I bought the rebuild kit on mine, it said for all ABS models. But then when I've been looking at other kits, some are saying 41 mil bushes, uh, 41 mil seals, and the others are saying 43. So I've just assumed mine was an ABS model. I've just bought the right seals for it. So now I'm thinking, is there a difference between the seals? Have I accident, have I inadvertently put the wrong seals in it because I know I did struggle getting those seals in they were really tight so I'm wondering if mine should have had 
the 43 mil in it and I've put the 41 mil in and that's what's making it really difficult for them to work. Um, I don't know at the minute and I'm probably not going to find out until later on down the line if I strip them back down um, but that kind of would make sense to me now. Um, but anyway these I've pushed them up and down they seem to work in which when I before I put those in they were really really stiff I should have the alarm bell should have been ringing before I put them back in but you live and learn so anyway what I'll do is I'll crack on with it I'll get the bike stripped down and uh, show you a bit of it as we go along and fingers crossed we could be I'm confident now that we're going to get this sorted and going to be okay to get on the trip but yeah it's it's going to be touch and go obviously we're really close and i need to get a move on anyway enough waffle let's get on with it so there we go that's it it's about 40 minutes later the front end's stripped out and i've got the old forks out and we'll have a quick look at those once We'll have a look at those right so new ones as you can see look at these the tops of these seals compared to these seals now i think the seals i took out were like this i think i've got the wrong seals i've checked my the listing that i bought them from and it said all abs models but that doesn't look like that i think i've put the wrong seals in which is causing it to <clears throat> That is not moving. I'm trying to push on that. That is not moving. Whereas when I push on these, they're moving. Probably not the best camera work, but it's moving. And also up on the top here, that, can you see that? Quite high there, quite low there. That is cross threaded. It's my mistake, but um, so old ones out. I'm going to quickly drop the oil out of the new ones, remeasure them, make sure it's got the correct amount in, and we'll get those fitted. Let's see how long this bit takes. And just like that, it's done. So, fortunately, that wasn't too bad to do. Um, it's all back together. I've sat on it. I've had a little rock on it. The suspension's working. Um, so that's the test for now. Whether I, I've still got to go and test ride it, make sure it's all working properly. I've got to get it packed up. I've got to get the stickers on. Um, yeah, still a lot to do, but at least that's working. I don't even know if I'll test drive it to be honest with you because there's not a lot I'm going to do about it at this point. If there's still something wrong with it, I'm just going to have to go with it. Um, I'm feeling knackered. It's been a long day. It's now past five. To be fair, that's only taken me two and a half hours. I put new fork oil in. Um, I'm fingers crossed. I really hope this is going to be all right. Oof. Yeah. But like I say, stickers are gone. Get it packed up. And then fingers crossed, heading out. Um, so yeah we're nearly ready to go just a couple of things before we finish today if a bit of a strange one somebody left some lights on my doorstep and in a bag and put for the pan and I don't know who it is everybody I've asked doesn't know who it is if it was you thank you very much unfortunately as you've seen they're not on the bike I've kind of run out of time to use them to get them fitted um, I would have loved to, when I got them I was like great I really want to put those on so it was really nice of you if you did do that um, I will use them at some point on something else guaranteed so it's a bit of a strange one that people will be wondering what the heck that's about but if it's you thank you um, I'm sure you must be somebody that walks past that recognizes us it's really appreciated thank you um, and then the last thing if you're enjoying these videos you know why we're doing them it's for the big charity trip that we're doing. This is going to be really big. We're all putting a lot of effort in. If you can, spare a few quid, because that total is going up and up and up, and we really appreciate it. We're blown away by what it's at at the minute. I think it's over 1,200 quid. It might be even 1,300 quid. I'm not sure, but that's just amazing. We've not even set off. 
um, you know, that's going to make a big difference to this, this charity. Um, and, you know, this is why I'm putting all this effort in. We're all, all, you know, everybody that's involved that's doing it, they're all putting a lot of effort in. And if you could spare a few quid, we would really appreciate it. Um, and that's it. I'm going to finish getting packed up and get ready to go. And the next time we'll see you, we'll be on the ride, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with me on this one. Not the usual video, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Live a little, flip the page, give me some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. I thought I was what I told I thought. I was I thought I was what I've been told I thought I was I was picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life in over my head trying to figure out I was going through changes where to begin when a mountain moving revelation